Good day. In this video, we're going to show you how to use this top minus bottom rule to answer some questions about the vertical distance between graphs. Here is two graphs together. There's a straight line running up here with an equation over there called g of x. And here is a parabola with the equation down here called f of x. There are three lines that we drew in between the two graphs. They will always tell you either that the lines are perpendicular to the x-axis or they will tell you that it's parallel to the y-axis, indicated both ways for this video. Firstly, they ask us to determine the length of gh if gh is parallel to the y-axis, that blue line from g to h. I advise you to write down gh equals top minus bottom. You can start this answer with either f of x minus g of x or y at g minus y at h or f of minus 1 minus g of minus 1. But this is where I would like us to start. We write down the expression for the parabola minus the expression of the straight line. In this sketch, the top is the parabola and the bottom is the straight line. So like I said, I will start with top minus bottom, then write that equals to fx minus g of x, then I'll write the expression for the parabola minus the expression of the straight line. Simplify the minus into this bracket, then we simplify this, and this is then an expression for the length of gh in terms of x. That is how long that blue line is in terms of x. And I can see up here at g my x value is minus 1. So I write x equals to minus 1 at g. Substitute it into this expression that I just worked out. Everywhere in the place of x I put a minus 1 and I simplify this expression now. Then you write gh equals 24 units. Stop the video and get your brain around this. Next they can ask me to work out the length of gl. There's g and there's l, that total length. And the answer will be 32 units. They gave us the coordinate of g, which is minus 1 for x and 32 for y. That means it's 32 units from the top to there. No calculations necessary. The next question reads, if JL is 60 units, determine the length of OK. So they say, if this blue line is equal to 60 units, how long is that red line from the origin to K? Firstly, we have to find an expression for the length of the blue line. So we write JL equals top minus bottom, and JL is 60. At the top, we now have the straight line, so we have G of X minus F of X. We fill in the expressions in brackets, simplify them, and here we have an expression for JL. But we know that JL is 60, so we go 60 equals this expression. Of course, it is now a quadratic equation. I minus 60 on both sides. I get 0 equals to 2x squared plus 6x minus 80. Now we can solve for x, factorize a common factor out, factorize and get two values for x, x equals to minus 8 or x equals to 5. Now we look at the line again and we see it's here on the positive side of the x-axis, so it can't be x equals to minus 8, it's not on this side. Like I said, x at k will be 5, so the length of OK, that red line, will be 5 units. Please stop the video and get your brain around this. The next question says, if MN is equal to 20 units, how long is OP? So that blue line is 20 units, how long is that red line? Now to get an expression for the length of MN, it's also going to be top minus bottom, but that's the same as what we did for GH. Took the top, which is the parabola, minus the straight line, and got the answer minus 2x squared minus 6x plus 20. Both mn and gh will use this expression. So now we can start. We can say mn equals to this expression equals to 20 units. Then we'll have an equation looking like this. A quadratic equation. Minus 20 on both sides to get a zero on that side. Now we solve for x. Factorize. So we get two answers, x equals to 0 or x equals to minus 3. So x is not allowed to be 0 because it's not over there on the y-axis. It's far to the left. 
So OP will be three units long. Maybe you can't write minus three, although the x value over here is minus three, the length is three units. Please stop the video and get your brain around this. The last question on these two graphs is to determine the maximum length of mn. We have a quadratic expression for the length of mn, which we got from top minus bottom. And I advise you to go and look at the video that says maximum and minimum values of quadratic expressions. There we gave you more than one way to find this answer. Let's quickly take this question from the top. So firstly, to find mn's expression with top minus bottom, you take the parabola minus the straight line, you get this new expression which I wrote down here. Then I advise you to use this set of formulas, we use it in quite a few places in maths, to work out, we use this formula to find out where this blue line will be a maximum, use this formula to find the maximum value of this blue line using this expression. I just quickly want to mention it. This is not so difficult to remember this formula. There it is in your quadratic formula. And that b squared minus 4ac you already know from your quadratic formula. Just make that 2 a 4 and put the minus in front there. So not so difficult to remember this formula. This is where it is a minimum or maximum. And this is what the minimum or maximum is in maths. Don't get lost in my words now. So like I said, this formula will give us the maximum value they asked us to determine the maximum length of mn. From our expression, we know that a is minus 2, there he is, b is minus 6, there he is, and c is 20 at the back here. Substitute it into the formula and get the answer 24 and a half. And you just write the sentence, the maximum length of mn is 24 and a half units. If they asked you where will it be a maximum, you will use this formula, plug in the values of A and B, and get your answer. This was not part of the question, but you could then say the maximum length of MN is 24 and a half units, where X is minus 1 and a half. So X is minus 1 and a half on this side, this MN will be the longest it can get. Remember the question was only determine the maximum length of mn. Please stop the video and get your brain around this. Here's the last question. They gave us this sketch with a parabola and its equation and a straight line and its equation. The question reads, refer to the figure, sketches have been drawn of f of x, that's the parabola, and g of x, the straight line. Calculate the minimum length of a line segment pq, that line there. Parallel to the y-axis, which can be drawn from G to F. So they want the minimum length of the line PQ. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. To find PQ's expression, I go top minus bottom. So PQ is G of X minus F of X. This one minus this one. Filled it in. Simplified it and got the expression for PQ. And like I said, for the minimum... Or for the maximum, we're going to use these two formulas. I told you, we can derive them sort of from here. Like I said, we use this part of the formula for where we will find the minimum. We use this part of the formula to find what the minimum length will be. So we take our values from the expression of PEQ. The A is 2, the B is minus 6, and the C is plus 5. Plug it into this formula. Simplified with my calculator, and my final answer is a half unit is the minimum length of that blue line. Stop the video and get your brain around this. If you wanted to find out for what value of x this pq would have been a minimum, we work out the minus b over 2a. And that will equal to x equals to 1 and a half. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. If you run into a problem involving the distances between graphs, you can send a clear WhatsApp picture of your problem to this number, a clear WhatsApp picture of where you tried it. Then we will try and solve the problem and send back an answer to you as soon as possible.